If your GCSE is an A-level revision is not sticking to your mind, then you want to try these psychological tricks in order to help you. This is specifically for science and math. I have not tried this for any other like humanities or social subjects. So let me know if it does work for you. For maths, you want to start off by eating peppermint chocolate as you are doing the maths question. And before the exam, eat the peppermint chocolate again. For some reason, it creates like a trigger. And I don't know why specifically it's peppermint chocolate, but everyone says to do that. And I've done it and it works. Secondly, classical music when studying chemistry, pop music will not work when you're studying chemistry. There's just too many things going on. So classical music is the best. Pop music for maths is the best. And then for biology, you want to draw diagrams and annotate around this. This is an example of what I'm trying to say here. So you annotate around this diagram so that when you see the diagram in the exam, your brain automatically remembers what is written around it as well. Of course, if you blurt. For physics, you want to stick the equations and diagrams all around your house in past in like post-its. That's what I did. And when it comes to physics, right? The main thing that you need to know is just the formulas because the formulas itself actually tells you what the definition is. Like for example, if they say define rate of change of momentum, that's just F equals to MA. If you already have all of those together, then you also want to try out these methods, which is mnemonics, mind maps, flow sheets. I use this a lot, especially for chemistry. It works really well and I use this a lot with muscle memory. So basically I just blurt it over and over again, but like writing it down over and over again until my hand basically just remembers what I'm writing down. Yeah, all the best, bye.